Hi and welcome, it's Vicky here with my monthly feature Create Date. Today I will be sharing 8 cards using products from the latest release by my favorite things. Now all my favorite things products are on sale right now, so make sure to visit my blog to find uh, the coupon code and where you can buy them. So let's start with the first card where I have combined two different die sets from the latest release. I used the gift uh, dies to cut out this window that you see here as well as the window frame and I also used the beautiful bow dies to cut out all the parts to create a bow. Now I'm going to stamp my sentiment and that is going to say happy birthday and it comes from one of the sentiment stamp sets from the latest release that I absolutely adore. It's called Brushstroke Expressions and it's uh, packed with beautiful uh, 100 and, um, sentiments that you can use in pretty much any card. I'm applying gold embossing powder and I'm going to heat set it. And I'm going for a shaker card, so I'm going to add the plastic pouch that was meant to work with this die at the back. And I absolutely love that you get four different compartments, so each and every one of them can be filled with different um, sequence. Now, this works as a window, as you can see, but it is actually meant to be a gift. So you get uh, two for the price of one. Now I'm going to stick the frame at the front. And I have cut out uh, both the frame as well as uh, the bow parts out of uh, gold cardstock. And I'm planning to keep everything quite monochromatic, having only white and gold on my card. Now I'm going to put together the bow and I'm using my bone folder to add some curve on uh, the bow. I used a piece of double sided tape at the back and now I'm going to fold both ends. And I love that this die actually gives you two different sizes of bows. I am actually using the smaller one. Now I'm adding another uh, tiny little piece of uh, double-sided tape at that uh, tiny little uh, part that you wrap around your bow. And then I'm going to finish it off by applying again some double-sided tape at the back so that I can stick down the tails. It is really easy to put together those bows and I think they add uh, so much uh, beauty on the card. I am not going to put this card inside an envelope, otherwise this bow is going to get squished. Instead, I am going to hand out this uh, card along with a gift to a friend that has birthday. Now, I am adding uh, on all of those four compartments some uh, sequins and uh, they all come from the Nouveau collection. They have gorgeous sequins. And I'm actually using my Tonic uh, Studio Handy tool. I find it really easy to work with that. I'm going to peel off my double-sided tape and then I'm going to stick on top a tiny little piece of uh, paper to make sure that everything is uh, going to stay put. And here is my cut ginger who got interested <laughs> to the shaker card. I am going to stick the bow on top and this is going to turn it looking into an actual gift instead of um, a window. Now I am going to finish it off by sticking this panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half that I have made out of gold cardstock. Now I'm going to create a birthday card perfect for a princess in your life. I am using this piece of white cardstock and I'm going to back it up with double sided tape. So I'm just measuring there and I'm going to cover it up. And uh, the plan here is to cut out the crown out of this uh, paper. And then I'm going to add uh, glitter on top on the sticky part so that I can create my very own glitter paper. If you hate using glitter, then you can use gl glitter cardstock instead of uh, doing what I am right now. So now that my crown is cut out, I'm going to peel off the backing and now the top is super sticky so I can apply my Nouveau glitter. The color I'm using is called hot pink and I think it's perfect for the girly princessy look that I am going for. Now I'm going to use the backing paper from that adhesive. I am going to use my bone folder and try to burnish the glitter as much as I can, making sure that all that glitter is nicely stuck on top of my crown. I'm also going to use my fingers to make sure that I lift any excess. And I have a beautifully shiny crown. 
Now I'm using an older Ray stencil from my favorite things again and I'm applying some pink uh, Distress Oxide ink and this is going to provide the perfect background for my crown. Now for the sentiment I'm using one from the Queen for a Day stamp set that says May you be treated like a royalty today and always and I'm going to stamp that with the same Distress Oxide ink that I used for the background. And then finally I'm going to put everything together, so I'm adding some uh, Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back of my focal point and then I'm going to stick that on my panel. Now I have actually cut out this crown a couple of uh, times more and I have stuck one on top of the other, so this is quite thick and it really is going to stand out with all that thickness and the glitter on top. Now you can use gems and um, embellish your crown even more. I decided to go with these iridescent bubbles and then all I have to do is to stick this panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Moving on to the next card, I have cut out a white circle and I am going to apply some Distress Oxide ink over this stencil. This is a new stencil which is called uh, Grassy Edges. Super easy to use and you can build up uh, layers of grass if you want to. And um, they are, it is perfect for creating those um, cards with uh, little scenes. Now I am going on top with some blue Distress Oxide ink and as you can see I am using the brush which is going to make sure that I don't apply too much color and I didn't even touch the grass with my blue ink so I end up having this ombre effect on my sky. Now I am going to create my focal point and I will use this uh, adorable turtle. It comes from the stamp set that's called Love Bugs and I am also going to stamp a cloud. Now I am stamping everything with black archival ink on uh, Bristol paper and I will be using my Prisma colors to color everything. I find that uh, using Prisma colors over Bristol paper makes my job really easy and I really enjoy the process. Now of course when I am sharing more than one card in one video I don't have enough time to show you the whole coloring process but uh, it really is uh, super easy to blend those pencils on top of Bristol paper. I am also going to use the matching die to cut out the little cloud and my turtle. And I'm going for a very clean and simple design for this card, so I'm going to put everything together on top of the circle and as you can see I have offset the circle on my panel just a little bit. And finally the sentiment, I have uh, stamped and embossed it with white embossing powder on top of black cardstock. It says sending smile your way, a really simple clean and simple design but uh, sure to bring a smile on the recipient. Now for the next card I'm using one of my favorite stamp sets from this release. It's called Painted Prints and it actually gives you uh, layering flowers and leaves. I will be using two shades of green, darker and lighter one, two shades of pink and two shades of uh, orange for all of the flowers and the leaves. Now I am going to stamp a bunch since I don't know how many I'm going to need. So with the magic of uh, video editing, everything now is stamped and cut out with the matching dies and I'm ready to assemble. Now I have already prepared my sentiment which I have white embossed on a piece of pink cardstock that I tried to find in my stars that matched the color of the wing that I used for the flowers. And the sentiment actually comes from the Heart Celebrating stamp set that has been released this month. But um, the design is so versatile that it actually works with pretty much any sentiment that you decide to use. I'm using tiny little foam squares at the back of all those cutouts and I'm going to put everything together at the top and at the bottom of my banner. I'm also going to stick this panel on top of this uh, black and white striped paper. This is also from a pad by My Favorite Things and I absolutely love it. I find that I go back to those stripes again and again. Now I'm going to finish it off with some uh, clear gems. I am going to stick uh, a few of them at the top and at the bottom. And my card is ready.
Now on to my next card. This is going to be a happy birthday card and I'm using the happy birthday candles, stamps and dies. So first I'm going to cut out this die and I'm using a white cardstock. I'm going to run it through my big shot and I'm actually going for a shaker card. Now there are so many different options on how you can use this die. I decided to go quite monochromatic, so I will be using one of those pattern papers that have uh, blue and white stripes. And uh, I'm going to place them behind those candles in an angle, so they will look like real candles with stripes. So here I have already done the preparation that I needed to create my shaker card and now I'm adding my aqua flakes and you can go crazy and separate all those uh, candles if you want to. I decided to just add everything together but I did separate the flames so where the flames are I'm going to add some glitter. And now I can peel off the backing and start uh, covering up all those different areas with paper. Now my card is pretty much finished, all that's left to do is to stamp the sentiment and I would advise you to stamp the sentiment before you put everything together. I totally forgot about it but um, thanks to my stamping platform everything went fine. I am going to stamp uh, the word happy from another stamp set. That stamp set is called Happy Birthday to You and I always try in these type of videos to use as many products of, from the latest release as possible so you can see them in action and decide if uh, you like them or not. Now the next card is super fun. I am using the Safari Friends stamp set and I'm stamping the giraffe. I'm also going to stamp uh, a few of those leaves and uh, I'm also going to stamp uh, the little bird. Again I'm stamping everything with black archival ink on Bristol paper but this time instead of using my Prismacolor markers I'm going to use my Zig Clean markers which I find uh, work beautifully on top of Bristol paper as well. Now uh, lately I have um, been using Bristol paper a lot for my ink blending with Distress Oxide inks for using my Prismacolors and my Zig Clean markers and I absolutely adore it and I run through lots and lots of these Bristol papers every day. So just like always after coloring all my images I'm going to use the matching dies to cut them out. Now I'm going to create my own pattern paper and this is uh, just a piece of uh, green cardstock that I had in my stash. I am using two designs from the same stamp set, a bigger and a smaller one and I'm just going to stamp uh, randomly all over this piece of paper. And I'm going for a tone on tone look, so I'm just uh, using an ink pad that is slightly darker than my cardstock. And once that was done, I added some uh, tape adhesive at the back and now I'm going to stick it on top of a panel, a white panel. So then this panel is going to go on top of a white standard card that's for a quarter by five and a half. And now it's finally time to put everything together. I have already prepared my sentiment and I have um, some foam tape at the back. It is uh, white embossed on black cardstock. I always find that the white on top of black helps the sentiment stand out. And it says remember I have always got your back. I'm adding again tiny little foam squares at the back of my giraffe. I'm going to stick here on top of my panel. And uh, I'm also going to stick that uh, tiny little bird on her back and I think that this matches perfectly with the sentiment, a lovely card to give to a friend. Now some finishing touches and some more embellishment for my card. I am adding all those uh, leaf cutouts on one corner of my card just to add some more interest there. For three of the leaves I went with glue so that everything is flat and now for the next layer I'm going to add tiny little squares at the back of the leaves and just stack them on top. So I have a little bit of dimension there. Now to finish off the card I am going to add a little bit of shine. Of course you can leave it as it is, it looks pretty already. I decided to add some um, green crystals at the centers of all those uh, stamped patterns. And here is my finished card, looking really cute.
Now for the next card I'm going to use these dies that are shopping bags. I'm going to cut them all from pattern paper and you can see them all ready to go. And now I'm going to work on my background. Again I'm using uh, one uh, older stencil by my favorite things with lots of rays. And then I'm going to go over it with Distress Oxide ink and add a little bit of pattern at the background. Now before I assemble my card I need to put those shopping bags together since you cut out the main part of the bag and the handles separately. This gives you the opportunity to play with different color combos for the handle and the actual bag. I decided to go with the same color for both of these parts and now that all my shopping bags are uh, ready I'm going to stick them on my card. Now I want to have some as if they are at the background and for those I'm using tape adhesive. And for the bags that I want them to look as if they are at the foreground, I used foam squares at the back. Now I find that this design is perfect for those gift cards that you hand out, since they are all about shopping, and I think it is also great for handing it out along with a gift. Now for this card I went with uh, Happy Birthday again from the same stamp set that I used for the first card. And to finish it off, I'm going to add some uh, clear crystals on some of the rays, just to add some sparkle. And to tell you the truth, I find that I am quite obsessed lately with uh, using uh, crystals on top of my cards, but I really love the sparkle. And finally, I used uh, a yellow card base to match the rays on the design. And finally, let's move on to the last card. For that I'm using the beautiful peacock stamp set. I'm going to stamp one of the peacocks with black archival ink on Bristol paper and then again I used my pencil, uh, pencils, my Prismacolor pencils to color everything. And I have uh, just cut out a little uh, square window in this white panel which I'm going to stick on top of my card base. I added foam tape at the back of my peacock and I'm going to place him on top of this little window. Now for the sentiment I'm going to combine two sentiments to complete my phrase. So I went with uh, a cutout that says hello and this is a tie from a previous release by my favorite things. I have actually cut it out from the same colored cardstock as my card base. I'm adding Nouveau Deluxe at the back and I'm going to stick it on top of my panel. And the rest of my sentiment reads to my beautiful friend which comes from the same stamp set as the peacock and I have already stamped and embossed it with white embossing uh, powder. I'm going to stick it just next to the word hello and my card is ready. Now if you want to uh, take it a step further of course you can add some uh, gems, some crystals. I'm using those clear ones but uh, since they are clear they are going to actually take the color from behind so they will look as purple in the photo. And that completes the cards for today. Here is a close-up photo on the last card. Just like always, you will find the full list of all the supplies that I used down below in the description area, as well as on my blog. And don't forget that on my blog you will find a coupon code to shop my favorite things with 15% discount, so make sure to check it out. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you had fun and you got inspired, and have a lovely weekend!